I have to apologize in advance because it is extremely dark today. It is very gloomy. So I hope the image is not too terrible. So hi and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Rita and today I want to showcase a few more of my favorite products for the upcoming Sephora sale. By the time you're watching this, it is the first official day for the Sephora sale for Rouge, which I am a Rouge member. If you're not a Rouge member and you're just like a BIB or a Beauty Insider, you will have different dates. I'm gonna leave everything in the description box below, but the sale starts tomorrow or today because you're watching today as a 20% off and it goes all the way from the 27th to the 6th of November. So depending on what uh, tire, I think that's how you call it, tier you are on the Sephora um, on the Sephora website. You could do a 20% off if you're a Rouge, a 15 if you're a BIB, which the Rouge, I'm sorry, BIB start shopping. I have like the, the website here. BIB start shopping on the 31st of October, so on Monday. And then Beauty Insiders also actually on the 31st. I didn't know that because before there was a separation between BIB and Insider. But even if you've never shopped at Sephora, you don't have an account, all you need to do is go on their website, uh, put your email, your information, and that's pretty much it. And then you get 10% off. There is also a 30% off for the Sephora collection, which I don't buy and I don't recommend because they're not cruelty free, but yeah. So 20% off for Rouge and then 15 for BIB, 10 for Beauty Insiders starting today for the Rouge members. So anyway, after all that big intro, let's get right into the products. I don't have as many. I already recorded or filmed my video of all my makeup recommendations. I'm gonna be leaving it on the description box below among a few other older videos of recommendations. But anyway, let's get right into it. But before we do, please be sure to subscribe. All you need to do is uh, hit the subscribe button down below and be sure to also hit the little bell so you get notified every time that I post. The very first products I'm going to be talking about are going to be skincare and then I've got a few fragrances. So for skincare, let's start with my night routine. I do have a few products that I absolutely love. A few of them are on the more affordable side, including my favorite retinol. This is from the Inky List, and this is, I don't know, it's just called the retinol, and this is very affordable. I think this is less than $20. I used this maybe like two or four times a week. I don't remember. I think maybe I used it more. Like one night I'll use it, I'll skip it two days. So just depending on how my skin is feeling, this is a great product if you have sensitive sensitive skin and I say that because my skin is more on the sensitive side and this does not ca cause any irritation whatsoever so retinol depending on what brand you use or what amount of retinol it can be a little irritating on the skin especially if you've never used retinol before but this one even since I first started using it I want to say maybe two years ago it's never caused any problems with my skin any irritation it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel itchy just perfect. I really love it and you cannot beat the price of the Inky List. Once my retinol is absorbed into my skin, I move on to my favorite, absolute favorite of all time, moisturizer. And this is probably my fourth bottle, maybe if not my fifth. This is by Pharmacy, the Honey Halo Ultra, Ultra Hydrating Ceramid Moisturizer. So this, like I mentioned, it's my, maybe, I think it's my fourth bottle and I'm going to be going on my fifth. I do have the bigger bottle, so this is a 100 ml. They have a smaller option, which that's the very first one I ever bought to try it out. And I always buy one per season, like per sale. So you can see my bottle is mostly empty. I'm kind of like scratching the edges to get the very last bit of this. But of course, I'm going to be repurchasing. I love this product. If you have more normal to dry skin and you like a thick moisturizer, I think you would love this. And although this is a thick moisturizer because it really is a, a more on the thicker consistency, it absorbs very quickly. It does not leave your skin greasy, but it makes my skin feel super hydrated. I've tried so many moisturizers in the past. And even if I was using like a ton of product, even like a few minutes later, my skin still felt dry. With this, I can just use a small amount and it feels very hydrating, very luxurious to the touch, and again, zero greasiness. So I don't know how someone with more oily skin type would feel because of course I have more normal to dry, but I don't foresee this being heavy on even greasier skins. I just, it's such a beautiful formula, rich, rich uh, moisturizer, and I think anyone would love it. 
Maybe if you have a more oily skin, just use a little bit less, but still, highly, highly, highly recommend this one. For my eye cream for night, I've been using and loving this Biosense cream for, I don't know, maybe even longer than these other products, maybe like three years. This is the Squalene Marine Algae Eye Cream. And this actually I bought during the spring sale and you can tell it's still pretty, pretty good amount that I have left. But regardless, I'm gonna be repurchasing because of course it's a small bottle. I use it every night on my under eyes and all the way up here on the sides. I don't wanna say this because I'm going to, you know, make myself give out my real age, but I am 36 years old. I'm 36 and I can honestly say I love my skin. I have almost no signs of aging. I do have a bit of lines that are starting to form in my forehead and I have a very expressive face. I move my face a ton. So whether that's my eyebrows, that's my forehead, my, you know, I, I smile a lot. So I use my face a ton and I've been taking care of my skin since I'm like, for like 13 years old. I have a Mexican mom who would buy me like all my lotions and everything since a very young age. But I've never had any, of course, fillers, Botox, nothing. I don't think I've ever had like a proper going into a spa and like doing like a, what do you call like a cleansing or like a peeling, nothing. I probably should do that at some point. But I've never done anything to my face except for taking, taking care of it. Let's move on to more daytime products. The first one is going to be of another very affordable one. I've been using these facial sprays by Mara Badescu for years at this point, but for my morning routine, I like to spray, spritz my face. Whenever I wake up, I wash my face only with water. And then for my first official step for my skincare, I spritz my face with the, um, what is this, aloe and cucumber green tea spray. And then while this is on my skin, still my face wet, I go ahead and use the Ordinary. This is the Hyaluronic Acid 2% uh, plus B5 vitamin. So these two I absolutely love together and also as a refresh, this one by itself. These are not expensive products by any means, like my uh, Inky List or these two, but I would still recommend you pick them up because they're great products and I've, they've been in my rotation, specifically this combo, I wanna say for over two years. This, forever. This I've used for probably five years. So anyway, love those. And then my last skincare from the ink, I'm lying, you know. Second to last Inky List product I'm gonna be mentioning is going to be the Peptide Moisturizer. This is, uh, it says help reduce the visible signs of aging. So of course, again, by my age, this is something that I absolutely use every single day and I love. I've tried other peptide moisturizers, even more expensive ones, and I still prefer this one. With more normal to dry skin, I find that this gives me the perfect amount of hydration and this is definitely more lightweight than this one. That's why I stick to this one for my night routine. And then in the morning, I just use this one from the ink list. It is more on the lightweight side. By any means, it's going to be a gel type. It's still a very much lotion uh, moisturizer, but it feels very rich on my skin, very luxurious, even though the price point is definitely very affordable. And it gives me that hydration that I need pretty much every single day. Absolutely love it and highly recommend. And now for my last ink list product, the caffeine eye cream. I love this product. This is probably my fifth bottle that I've used. I love it. I use it every single morning on my skincare as you know, my last skincare step. And this one is going to be has caffeine. So it helps reduce the puffiness around your eyes. So I do tend to have more, um, baggy, no, yeah, not baggy, <laughs> uh, puffy under eyes. So I don't really have the darkness under my eyes. I have the puffiness. I have been, I have had them surgically removed. I want to say, I think that was in 2021, I'm pretty sure. So a few years ago. So the bags have definitely, you know, they're definitely back. You can see them a little bit starting to form. They're never going to go away for good remove them surgically and then they start popping up again. But these have the, this lotion has definitely helped to reduce a little bit that inflammation that I naturally just genetically have. 
So I really love it and I would never stop using it. Every morning this goes on my under eyes. For my last skincare product, I've got a lip product and this is from Ole Henriksen. This is the Peptide Lip Treatment. This I actually just recently bought during last VIP sale, so during the spring event, and I've been really loving it. I use it every single night as my last step on my night routine, and I really like it. I feel like it keeps my lips really hydrated, and whenever I wake up in the morning, they still feel pretty hydrated. So this is not something that I'll carry around in my purse. I usually or strictly use it as a treatment at night. So I'll go to bed, put this on, and it feels fantastic when I wake up. My lips feel really, really nice, really good. So yeah, highly recommend. I think I'm gonna be repurchasing. I don't think I need to just right now, but it's not, this tube is not gonna last me until the next spring sale. So for the holiday or right now, I'm gonna purchase. I only have one hair care product to recommend and I've been really loving it and it's almost pretty much empty at this point. This is the Amica Per Cup Dry Shampoo. I really like it. I don't wear dry shampoo as frequent, but uh, probably like once a week, that's about it. But uh, I really love this one once, twice a week, depending on how my hair is feeling, because I do wash my hair twice a week. So in between those days, I'll use this one. Basically empty at this point, I'm gonna be repurchasing during the sale. I really like it. The scent is really nice, but not, not overpowering. And I do feel that my, my hair actually feels clean in between washes because of this product. My last two products are both perfumes. The first one I prefer to wear during the more hotter months, so spring, summer. You're gonna catch me with, uh, I don't even know the name of this, it completely rubbed off. This is Poppy. I don't remember, I think it's called something Poppy by Nest Fragrances and it is a stunning bottle. I really like their bottles. There's a few more perfumes that I've been eyeing from Nest. I, right now I don't need any perfume so I'm not gonna be repurchasing, but I always say this, whenever it's a sale during Sephora or any sale you can find a discount for perfume, I highly recommend you do it because fragrance for the most part is more on the expensive side. So I think this one's retail for around like $80, so below $100. Uh, they do have a ton of different, um, different scents, if this one might not be for you, they have a lot of them. I do have a few others from this brand that I would like to purchase, but so far this is the only one I've tried and I really love it. It is my signature scent for the spring and summer. I don't think I've ever been stopped as much as I have since using this perfume. And this is the Santal Vanille by the brand Seven Virtues. I love this product. Of course it is uh, cruelty free and you can see on the bottle it's like, it has a little bunny. Look how much I've used. I'm pretty sure I bought this two years ago, and I've used it, I use it pretty much every single day during uh, fall and winter. It smells like the most luxurious, delicious vanilla with something else, and I'm pretty sure that something else is that Santal. It smells so good, and I've been stopped so many times whenever I'm wearing this perfume, which is super odd, and they always think it's some kind of very expensive product. Uh, I think I the ones that I can remember that I get is like, oh, is that Tom Ford, whatever. I'm like, no, it's seven birches. It's cruelty free. You should buy this instead. Literally every time someone asks me about this perfume, because it's always, whenever I'm wearing this, it's like, you smell delicious. What is it? And I'm like, oh, hold on, it is this. And I even like pull my Sephora website, to show, like Sephora app, to show them what it is. And I'm like, it's cruelty free. You should buy this brand and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I love it. It smells so freaking good. I'm so bad at explaining, uh, like trying to express what a scent smells like. So I would just recommend you either take my word for it if you like more sweeter scents or vanilla scents, or just go in store and smell it. Seven Bridges does have a few of these vanilla scents. There is this one, and I think there's another one that's purple, and I think that's more popular. Like people talk about that one more here online. But personally, I prefer this one. Whenever I went in store, I actually went to buy the other one, the one that's purple. It's vanilla something, I think vanilla woods. That's just, I'm pretty sure that's the name. But then I smelled this one, I'm like, no. This is 100% better and I really, really love it. It's vanilla and sweet, but not overpowering, if that could make any sense. But it's just, I don't know. 
It smells so good. So, so good. Well, that's gonna be everything for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have your card ready, if you're gonna be shopping the sale or skipping, what are your favorite products that are maybe I need to check out. And of course, in the description box below, it's gonna be all the information regarding the sale and a bunch of other general recommendations, including the one that I just posted on, I think, Monday. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, like always, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.